Today is the 13th day of 13 days of Halloween. I think you can see it, but it is actually the 31st of October. I just got home from my office Halloween party. A couple of days ago, I had a Halloween party with my family. And a few days before that, I had a Halloween party with all of my friends. I filmed just a little tiny, tiny bit of those parties. And I will put that at the end of this video. Just small snippets, but I wanted to include it. Look at my sweater. <laughs> Instead of the sound of music. I love it. But I'm here to do a wrap up for the 13 days of Halloween. I had such an amazing time and I'm actually really sad that it's over, but not until I've talked about the books that I read during these 13 days. So I'll begin with the book that I didn't finish and that is Midnight is the Darkest Hour by Ashley Winstead. I actually wanted to finish it, but I didn't end up having enough time. I ended at page 172, almost halfway, and I'm really liking it so far. It's looking like a four star, but I'll let you know once I finished it. Then I'm going to go from the book I liked the least to the book I like the best. And the book I like the least was Edenville by Sam Rebeline. I gave this book three stars. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite and I'm a little bit hesitant to actually judge this book since this is really a horror book. I'm not an expert in that genre so I don't know if the writing was bad or the story was bad or that it was just me that it didn't grip me but I just really felt no connection. It was okay to read, but it's just not a book I would recommend to people. So that's why I gave it three stars because I hadn't had the worst time. It was okay. It was okay to read, but not something to write home about. <laughs> then the next book I gave four stars and that is Scary by Stephen King. I really liked reading this. It was quite short, but really entertaining. I already knew what the story was about, so it didn't blew my mind or anything but i did really like it and i also really liked uh, the vlog that i made reading this book it was just a really fun experience because i read it on the first day that i got my period i watched uh, a movie with a friend where there was a period accident and i watched scary the musical with another friend of mine and i just had an amazing time so this was really fun and the book was four stars then the book i liked a little bit better than gary that is the maid by nita prose this was a murder mystery and i actually really enjoyed it now thinking back of it i just mainly enjoyed the main character and an another elderly character that was in this book. I just really liked being inside the main character's mind and it was really fun. The only reason why this didn't got a five star was because of the ending. There was just something with the ending that it was okay, but I don't know, I expected more. And that's why I didn't get five stars, but I'm definitely going to pick up the next book because I mean, a four star is great, so. And then a book my mother gave me and I was so happy. <laughs> And I had the amazing time. And normally I don't really make cozy vlogs, but reading this book made, made me want to make a cozy vlog. And now it's, I don't know, maybe I should incorporate more cozy vlogs. I don't know. But it was Garlic and the Vampire by Brie Paulson. This was the cutest, the cutest, cutest graphic novel. And I gave it five stars. I really liked it. It was so cute. And I just figured out that there's a second one. So I'm definitely going to pick that one up. I'm just in love. If you haven't read this one and you like graphic novels and cute things, you should, you should definitely pick this one up. And also, if you haven't watched the vlog already, go do it. That's also why I'm not really explaining what the books are about because I already did that in the vlogs. And I have an entire playlist. If you missed a certain video, just... Go in the playlist and you can find it all there. And then we have the last book. The winner of this year. The winner of 2023. And to my surprise, it is a horror. But now looking back on it, I think it's equal a horror as it is a mystery and a thriller. I think it's just the perfect three. And that is Hidden Pictures by Jason Rakulak. This book... Oh my God, it was a surprise. When I started reading it, I thought I would be too scared and this was nothing for me. But I faced my fears. 
I finished it and I freaking loved it. The end, the beginning, the middle, it was all amazing. I just wanted to keep turning those pages. It was incredible. It, it was almost as much crack as it was fourth wing which i don't know the comparison doesn't make sense but it just kept me wanting to read more and more and more and this was also the best horror of last year and i totally understand why i totally get it and if you haven't read this book please do pick it up go read it and let me know if you like it and if you don't like it please don't let me know because i don't think i can handle it but <laughs> This was my absolute favorite. It is so good. And I also really love that after the book is done, I wasn't scared. Which was something I was afraid of when starting this book. It's not. I can just look back on this book and have an amazing memory of it. Which I love. So those were all the books I read. I had an amazing time. Thank you so much for being there with me. And I'll just now show you the clips of the parties. Love you, happy reading, and I'll see you in November.